YouTube 101 Success HD Videos Training We welcome you to an amazing and highly beneficial YouTube Success 101 HD Video Training course. This course will undoubtedly help you scale your YouTube marketing efforts this year and bring success and glory to your brand name. This video course is designed to give you the most practical and time-tested guidance on how to plan and execute your YouTube marketing strategy this year. So, look at the contents of this training course and all the best. Video 1 YouTube Success 101 HD Video Training Video 2 Overview of a Successful YouTube Marketing Strategy Video 3 Guide to Creating Profitable YouTube Ads Video 4 SEO Tools for Better YouTube Marketing Video 5 Understanding the YouTube Algorithm for Better Marketing Video 6 How Does YouTube Count Views? Video 7 How to Use YouTube Analytics to Grow Your Channel Video 8 how to build a community on YouTube and build a loyal following. Ramp up your YouTube marketing strategy. Use the YouTube practices and strategies shared in our training course to ramp up your YouTube marketing strategy. It's important to have a good grasp on your marketing platforms, including the backgrounds and usage patterns of the audiences on them, so you know which tactics are right for your brand and your bottom line. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson. YouTube 101 Success HD Video Training Video 2 Overview of a Successful YouTube Marketing Strategy With so many viewers on YouTube and so many video contents being watched daily, there's enough space for good YouTube channels like yours to succeed. What's important is to have a comprehensive YouTube digital marketing strategy for your channel. It will help you to get found by your target audience and assist you in gaining maximum exposure. Let's find out the fundamental steps of creating a successful YouTube marketing strategy. What's a strategy? A good YouTube digital marketing strategy comprises of attracting organic traffic by creating awareness of your channel and your work on various social media platforms while making your content YouTube algorithm friendly. So, let's head further to understand how to create a successful YouTube digital marketing strategy for your channel. 1. Keep YouTube Algorithm Happy The first step on how you do YouTube marketing is to make sure you not only meet all the necessary criteria of the YouTube algorithm, but you should also remain up to date with the new changes in the algorithm. Here's what you need to do to optimize your channel and videos. Tips to Optimize Channel Complete your YouTube bio. Use Google AdWords Keyword Planner to check for popular keywords based on your niche and add them in a section called Channel Keywords in Account Information. For the channel's homepage, add a high-quality custom banner and create an intro video that plays whenever someone visits your channel. Tips to Optimize Videos Make sure it has a captivating title and descriptions with all necessary keywords. Make sure to invest in high-quality audio and video equipment. Have a highly optimized picture as a thumbnail. Add necessary YouTube annotations in the video whenever possible. Adding subtitles to your video can help your video gain unprecedented exposure. Nevertheless, the best YouTube promotion strategy comprises of utilizing all the social media platforms out there and guiding the traffic from there to your YouTube channel. Here are a few ideas. 1. Post some content exclusive to each platform. You can use Instagram to post your photos and keep your followers updated with what's going on in your life. You can use Twitter to express your views on various topics. 
You can use Facebook to share behind-the-scene footage. Make your every profile worth following. 2. Interact with your audience through various platforms. You can retweet tweets from your followers. You can follow back your followers on Instagram. You can tag people on Facebook on your posts. There are many ways of interacting with your followers. Just remember that using social media platforms to indulge in direct promotion won't work. You need to be sensible and engaging in your approach. 3. Join platforms that can help in the promotion of your channel. If you have an educational channel, you can join Quora and answer questions that are relevant to your channel and post link to your channel in each of your answers. If you have a crafts channel, joining Pinterest can really help. For vloggers, if they start blogging too, they can expand their audience further. 4. Create engagement on YouTube. With a plethora of videos out there on one topic, you need to have high retention rate on each video. Otherwise, people will simply go to some other video. The way out is to create engagement on YouTube. You can do this through video engagement, promotional engagement, interactive engagement. 5. Creating video snippets and memes one of the best YouTube promotion strategies is to create compelling short video snippets and memes from your YouTube channel. These are quick to watch, catches the attention easily, and are shared faster compared to long videos. It's a must to add this in your YouTube digital marketing strategy. Hence, the only way to beat the fierce competition on YouTube is to make sure that you prioritize quality before anything else. Creating quality content will call for more time and energy, but the results you'll reap from it will be worth everything. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson. YouTube 101 Success HD Video Trainings Video 3 Guide to Creating Profitable YouTube Ads Why YouTube Ads? Did you know that people watch 5 billion videos on YouTube every day? In fact, 300 hours of videos are uploaded to YouTube every minute. Videos should become a critical piece of the marketing puzzle because of how much video content your audience is consuming. But with many other companies knowing this, it's becoming harder and harder to stand out amongst your competition. Therefore, advertising spend needs to be allocated to services like YouTube in order to gain visibility from your target audience. Although like paid search spend, the world of YouTube advertising can seem a bit overwhelming and complicated to navigate at first. In this video, we discuss six tips to help you spend your YouTube ad budget in a smart way to gain attention from the people that matter the most, your future customers. Number one, select your YouTube ad format wisely. There are many different ad formats available. Experiment with a few ad formats and compare performance. Make sure to follow the space outlines by Google to ensure the dimensions and quality match up. It can be worthwhile to invest in market research to understand the ad format that will help you reach your business goals. 2. Segment in-stream and discovery ads into different campaigns. Like how you should be separating your Google AdWords campaigns into search versus display network you should be doing the same thing with your video ads. Why? In-stream ads and discovery ads, previously known as in-display ads, are very distinct from one another. Because of these differences, you should have a different budget and strategy, which is easier to control on a campaign level. 3. Take advantage of YouTube targeting options. Just as you should when advertising on Facebook, Twitter, or Google, you need to pay close attention to the audience that's consuming your message. YouTube allows great flexibility to take control over who sees your ads. Starting with demographic targeting, you can then layer on affinity audiences to target people interested in a certain topic, custom affinity audiences, and in-market audiences. This is where you can set targeting preferences for your ads. Number 4. Set up video remarketing. Remarketing is by far the most effective targeting method, in my opinion, 
because you have the security of knowing this audience has already expressed interest in your company by visiting your website. The great thing about remarketing is it's relatively easy to set up and once configured there isn't much you need to do aside from tracking the effectiveness. Number 5. Create compelling human content that feels native. With so much video content on the internet and the options to skip over and X out of most YouTube advertisements, it's important to focus on producing high quality video content. Including people and making a relatable experience that feels natural and native is what you should aim for. 6. Drive action by adding interactive elements to your site. Whether your business model is B2B or B2C, you have some goal in mind that has led you to advertise, so why not capitalize on these features to drive action? Having a great ad is one thing, but getting tangible results and new business from that ad is another. So explore these actionable features to reach your video ad goals faster. In sum, follow these six tips for better YouTube ads. Choose the right format based on your goal. Segment in-stream and discovery ads into separate campaigns. Use advanced YouTube targeting options. Set up video remarketing campaign. Create compelling emotional video ads that tell stories. Drive action with interactive links in your videos. And don't forget to measure your success. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson. YouTube 101 Success HD Video Training Video 4 SEO Tools for Better YouTube Marketing YouTube SEO Considering that YouTube is the second biggest search engine on the web, right behind Google, Getting your videos to rank high within the platform is well worth it. Having the right tools at your disposal makes it easier to find new keywords to rank for within YouTube so you can get your videos in front of the right people. In this video, we find out 7 SEO tools that will assist you in better marketing on the platform. 1. YouTube Search Filters Before creating your video, use YouTube's built-in search engine to check out other videos that are like yours. This way you can see what's already working and get a better idea of the direction you need to go in. Look for top ranking keywords for your specific niche and examine the descriptions, tags, thumbnails, etc. to determine why they rank high. For example, if you're creating videos on social skills, you might be interested in who's ranking for keywords like being charismatic. Once you search for a keyword, you can sort by relevance, upload date, view count, or rating. You can sort by upload date to see the most recent videos that have been uploaded and how people are responding to them. 2. YouTube Search Auto Suggest By using YouTube's Search Auto Suggest feature, you can easily find long tail keywords in your niche so that you can rank them and drive targeted traffic back to your site. If you start typing a short-tailed keyword, you'll get a list of specific long-tail keywords that people search for most often. For example, here are some long-tail keywords to rank if you're teaching people how to play piano. When you're doing keyword research for YouTube, it's important to realize how it differs from Google keyword research. For one, YouTube viewers search differently compared to those who search Google. 3. SERPstat SERPstat is a keyword research tool that can give you in-depth insight into what your competitors are doing, which can help you rank your videos high in search. You can give it one base keyword, and the tool will produce a range of suggestions that you can rank for. It'll help you discover those search terms that prospects are looking for and with which they could find you, help you compare your performance with your competitors, and send automated reports. 4. Google Plus Explore Google Explore helps you get a better understanding of keywords that are related to your base term, show you slang and user-generated content that's like your base term, 
and relevant trends in your niche. This helps you get a more complete picture of the conversations that are happening among your target audience. By uncovering trendy, time-sensitive topics that are being discussed, you can create content that's more likely to be searched for in both Google and YouTube. 5. Scythe Scythe is a business dashboard that lets you view your content marketing data in one place. You can monitor things like you can track mentions of your company on social media, marketing within your marketing dashboard, you can monitor channels like email, SEO, SEM, social media, and analytics. Client reporting, web analytics such as multiple websites, top referring domains, search engines, SEO keyword rankings, and more. Keep track of your business expenses, company revenue, balances, etc. Sales Project Management and IT 6. Vidic Including the right tags can help your video rise in the rankings within YouTube search results, and Vidic can help you increase your library of tags by 10 times in under 10 minutes, so you can get discovered more easily. Another benefit that Vidic offers in terms of keyword research is telling you how difficult it is to rank for a particular keyword. This helps you know whether it's worth trying to rank for the keyword or not. Vidic makes it pretty simple to optimize all your videos for SEO. You can click on any video in your dashboard to edit it without leaving the page. Vidic also gives you a good system for managing your YouTube videos. Once you connect it with your YouTube account, Vidic will automatically import all the videos you have on your channel to your Vidic dashboard. 7. TubeBuddy TubeBuddy is a Chrome extension that you can download to manage your YouTube channel. TubeBuddy gives you optimization, promotion, and management tools on every video on your channel, as well as advanced analytic tools that help you optimize your SEO. This tool is unique in that it doesn't require you to leave YouTube to utilize it. Its features load within YouTube's site, so the user experience fits within your existing workflow. When it comes to YouTube SEO, there are a lot of things to take into consideration. Apart from creating a high-quality video that solves a problem that your target audience has, you also must choose the right tags, create a keyword-rich description, and encourage people to share and subscribe after watching the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson. YouTube 101 Success HD Video Training Video 5 – Understanding the YouTube Algorithm for Better Marketing YouTube's algorithm serves the most relevant, personalized videos to their users on five different sections of their platform – Search, Home, Suggested Videos, Trending, Subscriptions, and Notifications. Let's find out in this video, how does the YouTube algorithm work? How does the YouTube algorithm work? By helping users find the videos they're most likely to watch and enjoy, YouTube can keep viewers on the platform for as long as possible and get them to visit their site regularly. To figure out which videos and channels users are most likely to enjoy watching, YouTube follows their audience, which means they track their users' engagement with each video they watch. But YouTube's algorithm also uses different signals and metrics to rank and recommend videos on each section of their platform. With this in mind, let's go over how the algorithm serves content via YouTube's six main user categories – search, home, suggested videos, trending, subscriptions, and notifications. 1. Search the two biggest factors that affect your video search rankings are keyword relevance and engagement metrics. When ranking videos in search, YouTube will consider how well your titles, descriptions, and content match each user's queries. They'll also consider how many videos users have watched from your channel and the last time they watched other videos surrounding the same topic as your video. For example, if you're creating videos on social skills, you might be interested in who's ranking for keywords like being charismatic. Once you search for a keyword, you can sort by relevance, upload date, view count, or rating. 
you can sort by upload date to see the most recent videos that have been uploaded and how people are responding to them. 2. Home When users access the home page, they first see videos from their subscriptions, then suggested videos based on their previous watch history and the video's performance. 3. Suggested videos YouTube analyzes users' activity history and find hundreds of videos that could be relevant to them. Then they rank these videos based on 1. How well each video has engaged and satisfied similar users. 2. How often each viewer watches videos from each channel or other videos surrounding the same topic. And 3. How many times YouTube has already shown each video to users. YouTube has also noticed users tend to watch more content when they receive recommendations from a variety of channels, so they like to diversify their suggested video feeds. 4. Trending The trending page is a feed of new and popular videos in a user's specific country. You'll find it by heading to Explore on the sidebar, then clicking on Trending. They'll also split trending videos into four categories – Now, Music, Gaming, and Movies. 5. Subscriptions YouTube has a subscriptions page where users can view all the recently uploaded videos from the channels they subscribe to. To determine rankings on their platform, YouTube uses a metric called View Velocity which measures the number of subscribers who watch your video right after it's published. And the higher your video's view velocity, the higher your videos will rank. YouTube also accounts for the number of active subscribers you have when they rank your videos. 6. Notifications YouTube also delivers tailored videos to users through notifications. Users can opt to either receive no notifications from a channel, receive some notifications, or receive all notifications. The only way to optimize for showing up in users' notifications is to ask your subscribers to tap the bell button next to the subscribe button. By optimizing your viewers for YouTube's algorithm, you can grow your audience. Remember, it all comes down to creating good content that people want to watch. How to Optimize Your Videos for YouTube's Algorithm YouTube ranks videos based on two qualities, keyword relevance and engagement metrics, which are used to measure a video's performance. Let's look at both in more detail. 1. Keyword Relevance To rank on YouTube, the first thing to consider is optimizing your videos and channel for popular search queries. To do this, place relevant keywords in your video's titles, tags, descriptions, SRT files, which are transcriptions, video files, and thumbnail files. You should also check out the most popular queries guiding viewers to your videos, which you can find in YouTube's search report. If these queries are slightly different from your video's topic, consider updating your video to fill these content gaps and add the keywords to your metadata. 2. Engagement Metrics The next thing to consider when ranking on YouTube is optimizing your videos and channel for engagement. The key metric to consider here is watch time, or the aggregate amount of time users spend watching your videos. To get people to watch in the first place, you need to attract users' attention. And one of the best ways to instantly grab users' attention is by creating vibrant thumbnails for each of your videos. Keep track of the YouTube algorithm to succeed on the platform. As the YouTube algorithm evolves, it's important to keep track of its changes so that you know what does and doesn't get promoted on the platform. If you're a business or individual creator trying to grow an audience on YouTube, be sure to optimize your videos for the algorithm so that your channel wins a loyal list of subscribers. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson. YouTube 101 Success HD Video Training Video 6 How Does YouTube Count Views? If you visit YouTube on any given day, 
you'll be sure to find a recently published video that's been viewed millions of times in mere days. Where do those views come from? What exactly counts as a view and what doesn't? For those who are curious, or if you're a marketer looking to expand your strategy onto a platform with over 2 billion users, YouTube has the answer. Let's find out what are YouTube views and the mechanics behind counting views. What counts as a view on YouTube? A view counts on YouTube when 1. It's a viewer-initiated intended play and 2. The video has been de-spammed by YouTube's algorithm. In other words, the video was played by a human on one device and YouTube confirms it to be a legitimate view. More than that, there's a magic number of views, 300. Once a video reaches 300 views, YouTube temporarily freezes the view count to confirm that those are indeed legitimate plays by real humans. Its system begins to track incoming views as well as the first 300. It can delete fraudulent views as they're identified. Once the initial screening process is over, the view counter goes back to normal, but YouTube will continue monitoring for fake views on every video. How YouTube Detects Artificial Views Luckily, YouTube has gotten pretty good at spotting artificial views. Some of these signs they look for include Views Reloaded. This is the classic case of a single user constantly refreshing the video to bring those numbers up. Viruses If a video looks like malware, software designed to harm your computer, server, or network, it gets deleted. Website Autoplay If the video is set up to autoplay on a website, that doesn't count as a view. Do your own views count on YouTube? Yes, your own views count if you play your own YouTube video, but only if you do it once or twice, not if you constantly refresh the page. Why does YouTube count my own views? YouTube's algorithm sees you just as it sees any other user, so your view will be counted. Do replays count as views on YouTube? Yes, but only if the replays seem natural. If you replay a video once, it will count as a view. However, if you constantly refresh the page to artificially up the count, YouTube will pinpoint this as a spamming practice. See the Views Reloaded definition above. Are YouTube views unique? No. YouTube's views aren't unique. Replays and revisits are counted in the view count. You can see your number of unique viewers in your YouTube Analytics dashboard. How often does YouTube update the view count? Though YouTube doesn't publish this information, we know that it updates views approximately every 24 to 48 hours. It does not update views instantly. Do embedded YouTube videos count? Yes, embedded YouTube video views count when the video is embedded into the content of the page and a user purposely clicks on the video to play it. An autoplay embed video may not count. A background video, that is, you place the YouTube video in the background of your website, will not count. Do Facebook views count on YouTube? Yes, Facebook views count on YouTube. They don't count, however, if you manually download the video from YouTube and upload it to Facebook. YouTube Guidelines for Videos and Views if you're thinking of implementing a YouTube marketing strategy, it's critical to adhere to YouTube's guidelines. If you don't, your videos will be deleted. Viewership has its own set of guidelines and is taken very seriously. If a video reaches a certain number of views and falls within the guidelines, it's eligible to make money. For the most updated information on proper video protocol, review YouTube's guidelines regularly, especially when they announce changes for creators. It can be a bit tricky to decipher the mechanics of YouTube, but YouTube uses a system that carefully and cleverly monitors viewership so it can deliver the most authentic experience to its creators and users. By counting views before fake views turn into a real problem, YouTube keeps its platform clean from spam. Count your YouTube views to measure performance. Knowing how many people view your video is important. 
You can tell whether your title is compelling, whether your thumbnail is effective, and whether your content is watchworthy based on views alone. By measuring your YouTube views, you can successfully pivot your strategy to grow your YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson. YouTube 101 Success HD Video Training Video 7 How to Use YouTube Analytics to Grow Your Channel Building a must-see YouTube channel starts with understanding your audience, and there's no better place to gather actionable insights than your YouTube analytics. Let's find out what all is included in YouTube analytics and how utilizing these reports can help you improve your marketing efforts. YouTube Analytics Want to know which of your videos are binge-worthy? Curious where the bulk of your viewers are coming from? Well, the answers are just a few clicks away. That's why we put together in this video breaking down the core pillars of YouTube Analytics, including general reports, watch time and audience reports, engagement reports, earning reports. General Reports If you're trying to view YouTube Analytics for the first time, simply visit the YouTube Analytics page directly. Alternatively, you can click on the Analytics tab in YouTube Studio. The Overview Report this report is a high-level summary of your video's most recent performance. Easy to understand at a glance, the overview report tells whether or not your numbers are up. Looking at engagement metrics such as watch time and views, you have a simplified snapshot of your overall performance. The Real-Time Report This report shows you an estimate of view count data for your most recent videos, including people watching in real-time. If you're pushing out video content on a frequent basis, this report can let you know if any new videos are experiencing a spike in engagement. The real-time report displays two graphs, one hour by hour and the other minute by minute. Both graphs refer to viewers' local time zones. The Watch Time Report This report aggregates data from all view sources to create a comprehensive breakdown of viewer retention. These sources include the YouTube homepage, the platform's embedded player, and the mobile YouTube app. You can also compare watch time data for individual videos. The Audience Retention Report This report helps you understand whether or not your viewers are sticking to your videos. Beyond big picture trends, the absolute audience retention curve lets you see which parts of the video are most popular. You can also use a relative audience retention to see how your video compares to YouTube videos of similar length. Retention further breaks down by organic traffic, traffic for paid skippable video ads, and traffic for paid display ads. The Playback Locations Report This report is interesting if you work with collaborators or partners. Here you can see where your videos are being played, either natively on YouTube or embedded elsewhere. Simply put, playback reporting highlights where users are viewing your videos, while the traffic sources are how people find your content. The noteworthy metrics of this report include YouTube Watch Page, YouTube Channel Page, YouTube Other, Embedded and External Websites and Apps. The Traffic Sources Report It shows the sites and YouTube features that viewers use to find your content. Understanding whether viewers are searching directly on YouTube, clicking suggested video thumbnails, or following links from social networks lets you know if your optimization and promotion strategies are paying off. The Devices Report This report gives you information on the different devices including PCs, mobile, tablet, game consoles and TVs, and operating systems that viewers use to watch your videos. This data can better inform both your advertising and outreach strategies. Engagement Reports YouTube video analytics can be split into various reporting metrics, include likes, dislikes, comments, subscriptions, 
sharing. These metrics are prioritized based on the types of content you're creating. The Subscribers Report This report is YouTube's equivalent, outlining how you've gained and lost subscribers across different pieces of content, locations, and dates. In short, this report quite literally tells you which content is scoring subscribers and where they're coming from. You can also see where you lost subscribers as well. The Likes and Dislikes Report It shows the net change of likes and dislikes in your video. It adds up the number of likes and dislikes minus the number of likes and dislikes removed. The Videos and Playlists Report this report shows you how many times your videos were added to or removed from viewers' playlists. The Comments Report This report summarizes how many people comment on your video. Just like social comments, the YouTube comment section represents a place to go back and forth with your audience. The Sharing Report this report shows how many times your content has been shared through the Share button on YouTube as well as other sites like Facebook or Twitter. The Cards Report This report shows you how viewers are interacting with cards on your videos across desktop, mobile, and tablets. The Estimated Earnings Report This report details earnings related to partner content, transactions, YouTube Red, and Ads. The Ad Rates Report This report determines how different ad types perform over time compared to one another. A few noteworthy metrics within the report include ad type, ad impressions, monetized playbacks, the number of instances when a viewer plays your video and sees at least one ad impression. A monetized playback is counted if a viewer is shown a pre-roll ad but quits watching the ad before your video ever starts. Playback-based CPM Are you using YouTube Analytics to grow your channel? We get it, there's a lot to take in. But analyzing your channel's numbers is crucial, not only for improving your current content, but figuring out what to create in the future. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson. YouTube 101 Success HD Video Training Video 8 – How to Build a Community on YouTube and Build a Loyal Following Fans can comment and like or dislike posts and share them with their friends. And just like that, a functioning community is created. Community is an important part of our human experience. With the COVID-19 pandemic, the way we participate in our communities has changed. In this video, you'll find all things about YouTube Community Tab and Mastering Your Own Channel's Community Tab Strategy. What is the YouTube Community Tab? The YouTube Community Tab is a tool that creators can use to interact with their audience in a more conversational way beyond video. This stream of updates, which can include texts, GIFs, polls and images is a lightweight way to stay engaged with fans in between video uploads. How to get a community tab on YouTube To get a community tab on YouTube, your channel will need to have over 1,000 subscribers, and it can take up to one week after passing that number to see the community tab appear. How to make a community post on YouTube to create a community post, sign into YouTube. At the top of the page, select Upload and then Create Post. Type a message to create a text post or choose to add a video, poll, GIF, or image below the post. You can also mention other channels using the at symbol followed by the channel name. Click Post. Once your post is published, your subscribers will see it in their feed. They may also get a notification that you've posted something new. Where is the YouTube Community tab? You can find each creator's Community tab on their homepage if they have it enabled. On Desktop, click on the channel name to go to their homepage. From there, click on Community in the middle of the screen. Here, you'll find all their most recent posts where you can comment and interact with them. 
Ways to Use the YouTube Community tab When your audience is more engaged, they'll watch more videos, share more, and keep coming back. If you use the Community tab to its full potential, you can grow your audience and build a community around your content and brand. Here's how. 1. Post behind-the-scenes footage and updates While your videos might be carefully produced, scripted, and put together, many viewers crave authenticity from creators. Your Community tab is where you can show more casual updates. Use this format for sneak peeks or personal updates. 2. Heart and Respond to Comments When reviewing your community comments, use a heart to show appreciation for a viewer's comments. The viewer may get a notification, depending on their settings, and they'll be able to see that you liked their comment. Responding to comments starts a conversation and builds a stronger connection with your viewers. Don't get too caught up in replying to all of the comments on your channel. 3. Pin a top comment When a comment really tickles your fancy, it's from a VIP or just something you want to promote, you can pin it to the top of the comments. It will be the first thing other viewers see when they check out your post. 4. Promote a collaboration video with a fellow creator Are you really a YouTuber until you've done a collaboration with another creator? Once you've uploaded your shared creation, make sure both of you post about it on your community tab. It's a great way to drive traffic to your channel and expand your audience. 5. Poll your audience about what type of video they want to see next. Find out what your audience wants from your channel. Ask them for feedback on your upcoming videos or poll them about an upcoming competition. 6. Shout out to a fan or fellow creator using an at mention. Mention a fan or another creator to share the love or get more eyes on your videos. Popular channels will often select a fan to shout out to at the end of their video. The Community tab is another place where you can make these connections. 7. Share Members Only Posts If you offer channel memberships, you can choose to create posts that are exclusive to your channel members. This is a great way to thank them for their support and give them even more opportunities to engage with your channel. Building a Community on YouTube The power of being able to post updates and notify subscribers is huge. You've got a captive audience, so make sure to update them regularly, even when you don't have time to upload a full video. Stay engaged with what your fans want, and you'll build a loyal following quickly. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson.